what kind of thoughts were going through your mind? Did it, did it kind of hit home that you really have been drafted by the Twins? Yeah, um, you know, past week it didn't really hit me, you know, that I got drafted. And then coming here, seeing the stadium and everything, it's like it really hit me like I'm part of this organization now. And it's um, driving me to, um, you know, get here quicker and be part of this team. What is the road for you now? What happens next? I know you still have perhaps contract things to work out because you've also committed to college as well. So you have to decide which way to go. Have you done that? Yeah, uh, I just signed a contract today and then I head out to Florida tomorrow and you know start my new journey. All right, what do, you, what do you feel you need to work on to get yourself to play in this stadium someday? I think um, just mature overall in my game and as a human being and then you know get bigger and stronger like these guys are here and I know you know my talent's good enough to compete with these guys right now I just got to get bigger and mature more. What did uh, Derek tell you about why the twins picked you and what do they want to see what do they project for you have, they, have you had that conversation yet? Yeah um, you know they they said my talent my talent my skills was there but they liked um, you know the kind of person I am uh, I'm a good human being and I'm respectful and just a good guy all around. Did you get a chance to speak to any of the players downstairs? Yeah. What was that like for you? Um, it, it was crazy just seeing how how big and you know mature they are. And not, not a lot of them spoke English, but it, it was cool seeing that environment and you know getting to know them. Excellent. Congratulations. Thank Welcome you, to sir. the Twins. Thank you. Do you have a favorite team or favorite player growing up? Uh, favorite player, Javi Baez. I uh, started watching him when he came up, and I just like the way he plays the game. He has fun out there. What kind of teammate are you? What, what's your clubhouse vibe like? Um, you know, whatever you know helps the team win. I'm that guy. You know, um, anyone needs help, I'm there for them. Just want to make sure everyone's you know is good. Is it intimidating walking into the stadium, standing uh, behind the plate in the big league ballpark? Uh, no, not really. It's just it's a dream come true to me. You know, seeing everything. Um, knowing that I could be a part of it, you know, very, very soon, very soon. Well, how soon? It, uh, even the best it takes a few years. Uh, I give myself three years. <laughs> <laughs> Does that seem like a long time or a short um, time for no. someone your age? It seems long, but it's all gonna come quick. Was it difficult to uh, tell San Diego State that, uh, that you were uh, gonna turn pro? No, not really. I had my eye on going pro ever since, you know, last fall. They probably knew that when they recruited. Yeah. <laughs> this is your first time in Minnesota? Yes, sir. Oh, you picked a good time to come? Oh, yeah. I like it here. You know, I like the cold weather, so I'm enjoying it. <laughs> there are any elements of hobbies game you like to adapt to yourself? Um, Just the way he competes, you know. He loves to win. He plays every game like it's his last game, so I like that. Any familiarity with anybody in the organization? I mean, Royce Lewis from California, or any of those players that you've ever played against or know of in the organization yet? Um, just Royce Lewis, pretty much. I followed him when he got drafted, and then yeah, I stuck with him. And how far have you, how have you grown in the two years since he's been drafted? I mean, how's your path kind of evolved? I know you came on the radar really late, but how's your game evolved in the last year or so? Um, I've matured a lot um, since freshman, not, um, sophomore year. That's when my change going to junior, my body, you know, got bigger. Um, me as a player, I've learned a lot more. So I'm just been developing day in, day out. You ever surprise yourself with how good you've gotten? Um, yeah, I didn't think I'd be at this point, you know, probably a year, year and a half ago. And just, it's still unreal to me to see where I'm at right now. I know Larry handled most of the negotiations, but what was it like going through that? and? Uh, what are the words four million dollars uh, mean to a teenager? Um, it was all overwhelming because it all came out one time. But mm -hmm. I just told myself, you know, don't no pressure, just have fun out there and enjoy it. And then having four million as a teenager, uh, that's crazy. <laughs> but I don't mean, really need to worry about that. I just want to go out there and play ball. Probably start spending it tonight. Uh, what do you think? You uh, what's the first thing you buy? Um, probably a good meal. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> Good guys?